Welcome to the place that many of you know as glorious University of California, Santa Barbara, of course. Uh, my name is Costas Gulias. I have the pleasure and honor to, to chair this conference. Um, I've been waiting for you to come for a very long time. <laughs> and I have you. You're my captive audience. Um, so, just in case you don't remember what we are doing, we are the 15th International Conference of Travel Behavior Research. This conference happens every three years. It has been in, in some uh, amazing places like Kyoto and Jaipur, even Windsor. Um, so, the Queen's, uh, the, the, the Queen's Place. And um, we don't know where it's going to be next, but uh, we will find out at the end of the conference. Um, I will start with thank yous so that um, I get it out of the way, but also because I'm really thankful to the sponsors you see here. Um, it's the university, the Arizona State University. Where is Ram? Here is Ram. He was the first one to, 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 to give us money for the students. All, all our sponsors, actually, all the funding that we got for the conference went for fellowships of the students. And we have about 70 students, 312 uh, registered people, so almost a fourth, no, third of the conference are, is the youth. It's the, the next generation. But also University of Texas at Austin, University of Florida, and um, our own UCSB provided this, this support, so I should, I should thank them. But most important, the biggest contribution came from our association, which is the proof of why we should exist, because we we help our students to, to continue the, the legacy of, of our association that actually our chair, Elisabetta Kerki, will, will, will describe in the, in the keynote. Um, of course, it takes a village or maybe a, a world <laughs> to organize the conference. So the steering committee played a, a major role in, um, first of all, reviewing all the abstracts, 454 I counted and um, I leaned on them for asking them to review 70 abstracts each. Of course, they got scared, but they did a good job. Um, and you can see their names here, but also the program committee, which is mostly from, from uh, um, our local graduate students and other recruits like Lisa Macias from uh, UT Austin to, to organize the workshop. So thank you to them. And of course, thank you to, to the executive board of the um, association. Um, they also did quite a bit of work on reviewing abstracts, and they were very positive, so unlike me. <laughs> but but, uh, but it's, it worked very well, so, so thank you. This, this really is amazing that uh, in relatively short time we, we pulled together this, this conference. Uh, behind the scenes, actually there's quite a bit of people, believe it or not, that uh, worked for this conference. So behind those doors, there is uh, Whitney Morris with, uh, with her crew, Rico McDonald, David Sanders, Brian Sively, and, and Simone Herrera Gomez of the, of the club that, uh, that helped tremendously. Oh, she's there. She's there. He, here's Whitney. So give her, give her a apply. <laughs> the truth dressed in black today. Um, the, the, the truth is, I would never have been able to pull, pull this off without, without Whitney. So thank you, Whitney, again. And, but also the University Center team that, uh, that helped us. This is part of the University Center, the Multicultural Center, which is across the, the, the walkway. Um, campus Dining, we, you experienced yesterday at the reception an, a sample of uh, our campus dining. And the incredible student, uh, student uh, staff group that did quite a bit of work. But of course, our UC media, you can see the, the representative there with a big camera. So I hope I look OK on the camera. <laughs> All right, something about this conference. This is a green conference. We went through an extensive review of uh, PACES. It's called the, the, the office that uh, reviews this uh, green event sustainability. And um, a myriad of decisions uh, went through we, we went through a myriad of decisions about transportation, food, entertainment, dissemination material, any other type of dissemination to avoid paper, to recycle, and, and to make sure we have uh, what's called a, a, a green, green event. Um, Alex De Biasio did most of the work, but now Naomi Carillo is going to continue. But you can help. You can take the bus, shuttle, walk, bike. Uber and Lyft is okay too. 
Um, here's the water bottles. You, all of you got a blue water bottle. That's, uh, you go to the hydration station and you use it. Here, Amalia has it in her hands. Thank you, Amalia. And uh, use the recycling bins. Believe it or not, they are biodegradable, so we have uh, reasons to, to uh, be proud of that. And electronic means as far as you can. Of course, some of you asked me to have paper to write in the workshops. That will be done too. All right, so we are here. You received this map. I will not go through this, but I will go through the, the local map. Corvin Pavilion is where we are right now. Across the walkway is the multicultural uh, center, and we have two rooms there for meeting. This room is split in two, and, uh, and uh, the, the, we'll have the two sessions. And then the bottom of the big building behind me is where we have the other four rooms, okay? I don't want anybody to get lost or be diverted to the lagoon and taking walks. You have to participate. Our theme, and uh, Beba, you better tell me when I'm too long. <laughs> so our theme is mapping the travel behavior genome. Um, a few of you asked me, what is this genome? We will define it in the conference, so you don't have to worry. Over time, in the next three days, we, we are the ones that define the, the, the genome. Um, but also, in, a, in the context of uh, radically disruptive technologies, automation, experimentation, this is something we are going to define in, in, the, in the next three days. Uh, it is also the theme that you can hear in, in all the conferences the past two years because the world, we think, the world is changing, but not the lives of people as much people can tell. But, but um, the working hypothesis of the, of the genome right now are the themes that we use for the workshops. So we will start with, we have connected traffic and, and Internet of Things, the life course and how we all evolve over, over time. Mobility as a service that actually Maria Camariani will tell you what it is, because apparently in the United States we didn't understand it yet. Um, and, then, and then, of course, healthy, happy, and holistic uh, living. Um, this was a, a, a different title, but this is nicer than, than I had defined. And then time use and travel, automation and self-driving, and data mining and travel. But now data mining and travel is learning from data. Where's Bilal? Yeah, Bilal changed that. So this is the old title, sorry. All right, so how this works. We are going to have keynotes, too, this morning. Uh, podium presentations, I will go through the program really quickly, and workshops. So everything, the keynotes, the uh, sessions, the podium sessions, the, the workshops, reflect the theme and the context in, within which we are doing travel behavior today. Uh, the presentations are divided in eight groups, eight tracks, if you want. And um, we tried uh, from the beginning of the, of the conference to, to avoid the methods orientation. We did not want to have, although in the beginning we are talking about psychometrics, econometrics, and all other metrics, um, we, we gave it more of a substantive problem and issue. So that's the, the, the idea. And today's presentations, more than any, any other one, provide material for the workshops that start this afternoon. Um, and they provide the, the basics. They fit the basics for the workshops to, to cast the, 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 the framework. Um, if you look through the abstracts, the presentations, and, and you will see through, through, throughout the conference, there, there are very many fundamental ideas that emerge uh, that change some of the ways we, we think about travel behavior, but also some of the more traditional ways to do things. So I don't want to scare you, but um, we start uh, in uh, 10 minutes from now with uh, the two keynotes by Elisabetta Kerki, the chair of the um, International Association for Travel Behaviorists, and Maria Camariani, who is going to talk about mobility as a service. And then, and then we have these eight parallel themes that are in the eight rooms that I described before. And um, in the afternoon, we start with the, with the, the workshops. Right? So two keynotes, 16 podium sessions of, as resource material today. And the, the workshops, just to be clear, today will allocate roles to people. I, you will see in a second I will do a roll call. Classify, clarify the scope, refine the, the workshop specific themes, enumerate different issues that we need to, to address, and then set the stage for deliberations that will happen on Wednesday. Okay? Um, tomorrow is a heavy duty day. We have 24 parallel, parallel podium sessions. 
They follow the same eight themes, more or less. We had to modify a few of them because the, there is there is the diversity in the in the paper submitted. And once we we worked for a couple of days, we have to celebrate. So this is the beach party, Margarita Mariachi party that we will have on Golita Beach. It's a walking distance. Most I had a few meetings with some of you, and uh, many of you wanted to to just walk there. It's a, it's a very nice uh, location to just relax brainstorm, talk to each other, have a few drinks maybe. And on Wednesday is pretty much when we, we, will, uh, um, we will describe to each other um, what we have discovered in the, in the last uh, four days. Again, we have 24 parallel podium sessions. It's gonna be a, a, a difficult day because it's the longest. Um, but but the, the eight parallel uh, workshops at the end of, of Wednesday are the deliberation time when uh, everybody will 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 come up together together in the in, in each room and list uh, all the actions we will take in order to fill the gaps in the research that we will have found on Monday, um, and of course we will celebrate again. So we have a, the the banquet is going to be at the Anna Kappa loan, and if my directions are right, it's about that direction. But you cannot get lost. From here, you go towards the ocean and you're gonna find it because you're gonna hear the noise. So Thursday, Thursday we will uh, listen from um, the, the, all, all our older and younger colleagues um, about their accomplishments. We will have the Lifetime Achievement Award, I'm not using plural, and, uh, <laughs> and the Eric Pass Award, the, past, the immediately past the Eric Pass Award, uh, we know it's Michael Manis, where's Michael? He will appear. Um, and, and, and the new one, and then uh, we will have also a keynote uh, talk by Chandra Bhatt on time use. Um, it is a good, good closing um, keynote. And then of course the workshop reports. Um, so, I have a task for the workshop uh, report chairs. Please stand when I call your name so that the rapporteurs, so in that spreadsheet that appears on our website, RAP means rapporteur, means that you were subsidized by the association, now you have to do some work for us. So the first one is Maria Camariani, please stand up. And uh, you, after the break of, of this session, you need to talk with Maria and she's gonna tell you what to do. Uh, Chandra, oh, he's here. I didn't see you. Of course, of, thank you, Chandra. So Chandra is going to chair the, the time use. Our rapporteurs, please talk with Chandra and uh, he's gonna tell you what to do. Pat Mokhtarian and Ram Pendiala are chairing the Happy Life uh, workshop. So rapporteurs, you talk to them. Yoram Sifton and Amanda Stathopoulos, they're here. So they are chairing the self-driving torch uh, cars, I mean. Um, Bilal Farouk is chairing the learning from data. Did I say it right? So, okay, so the, the, the rapporteurs uh, have to report to, to, to Bilal. Zuni Zhang is about life. We will do the clap in a second. And uh, <laughs> Costadino Sandoniu, I challenge you to pronounce the name this way. Uh, is doing the big data and, and, and travel, and Amalia Polidoropoulou, I challenge you on this turn too, is gonna do the connected freight. All right, so clear? Workshop outcomes, Thursday, what I am expecting. Presentations of findings from the brainstorming sessions. We had last night a very nice um, uh, workshop chairs meeting, so we agreed to agree, I think. And um, so, so really, that's what we are gonna hear on Thursday, the, the findings, the gaps, uh, what needs to be done, and to, to fill the gaps, but also post-conference, three, four pages summary, one paragraph of workshop scope, one paragraph on research gaps, and then the remaining pages are really research projects that agencies can fund. So we can all benefit from the collective wisdom and, and get uh, research funding for ourselves. Second task, so the first task was to, to, to take care of the, of, the, of the workshops. Second task is the poll. Um, in the past, what, year, two years? Where's Pat? <laughs> um, we, we ran a poll and um, we did not get, there are many chairs here in the front, in front of me. Hello? 
Um, the, we, we ran a poll that did not reach quorum, and for this reason we could not decide. And uh, from my viewpoint, elections or polls are both a privilege, but also a duty. So you will hear about this poll from uh, Elisabetta Kerki. Please respond. Because if you don't, I will come after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you will have 20 days to reflect about uh, So this is a constitutional amendment to the ITBR constitution. The reason we need that is because we have to adjust with the times and we have to do it in, in the right way. Um, and you will get uh, more, more explanations. That's all I have to say, right? Thank you. Grazie. Third task. Sorry. Uh, there will be a book out of this conference. And uh, we will follow the tradition of all the past conferences. It was broken in Windsor, but now we restart it. The book is the priority one for dissemination and publication, and the special issues of journals will come later. So some of you got an invitation and the information about, about the chapter of the book. Um, your task is to reply, and um, you can ask questions to me or to Adam who is the, the co-editor of this. Um, we have a contract with Elsevier, so I'm not joking about the book. I ha we have to deliver it. It's 160,000 words, 24 chapters, the workshop reports, and introductory chapters that um, uh, we are recruiting the authors right now. But the most important thing is we will deliver a book by May 2019. And, and believe me, we will do it. Um, and the priority is, is the book simply because a milestone, the, each conference is a, is a milestone event. It defines who we are and, and what we do in, in transport, transportation, travel behavior research. So th there is no other better way to, to document that for posterity. And with this, I thank you again. And now it's time to clap for, for everybody that participates over here. <laughs>